हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर फीलिंग वेल प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल टू मैनी व्यूवर्स वाचिंग माय वीडियोस विदाउट सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर दे आर गोइंग डाउन द बजट एंड देर चेकिंग ऑफ ऑल दैट इज नीडेड to prepare the release of the budget and for their monetary and economic reforms that budget is the spinal cord for the economic reforms because of the success of the monetary reform and the rv phase that put the monetary reform where it's at right now to see it reinstated put back to what it was that would be good the imf gave them a stern warning it says time is running short for this government opportunities are beginning to diminish it goes on and says it must focus on dealing with the internal economic imbalances and the corruption with all its tool iraq has some shackles still i think it was protections for investors this comment basically stating get your internal stuff done because the international external situation those deals are not what we're going to be talking about get article 8 complaint and let's move on and get to the private sector sadani constantly every day says citizens of iraq hold on to your dinars because they are going to be more powerful we are adding value to it more powerful than what superman no more powerful than the american dollar then it should be more powerful than 1 dollar how about 1 dollar and 50 cents article 17 billion dollars development road project launched by Iraqi government Iraq's project could change global travel routes Iraq is building a transport corridor between the Persian Gulf and the Mediterranean Sea This is a major development that could change the way the world travels from Asia to Europe Iran and Saudi Arabia whose intentions are to join the BRICS nations this obviously could affect Iraq I'm sure those same nations approached Iraq about joining BRICS nations as well which would be a major concern to the United States. And this is why the United States sent more troops back to Iraq and they're building a new base. So they have no intentions of getting out of Iraq. They're there to protect their interest and the interest isn't the Iraqi people, it's the minerals in the ground and the oil. I expect a stellar week of great news and lots of ups and downs. I am getting inundated with the expectations we will see massive movement this week. Stay bucked up and be ready. The reinstatement of the IQD, the liberation of the IQD is coming and it's not going to be years. Soon we will see the honest asset backed rate. It's all in the making and my CBI contact told me to just be patient. It must get to a high state of security and stability before they release it. I believe they have already reached this point in the currency reform. With the de-dollarization and the pegging is at the point of no return. It must now move ahead to the next stage.